Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. I am co-hosting today with our friend Rocker Mike. How you doing, Mike? It starts off with Andrew and Peter, and they're literally trying to dodge the draft, these two right. kids. Right. And so for those who are not aware, when Vietnam was going on, I mean, I think my father was a few years shy of the draft, so he was a little bit... I know, I think they were born in like 1950. My parents were born in like the late 50s, but there were certain things that got you out of the draft at the age of 18. What were these particular? I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that. My dad uh, my dad was in Vietnam when I was born. Okay, he did okay. two tours over there. Um, but he actually enlisted, he wasn't drafted. Um, what could get you out of it was being in college. Okay, or if you were involved in a church. In some or way, flat feet, you know, phys phys certain physical. Oh, yeah, certain physical issues, right, would get you out if you right. had. And they don't even ask that question anymore now. When you no, but certain. you got to, you also got to remember, we're not talking about New York in the 21st century. We're talking right. about New York in the 70s. The, the church, 60s. Pew, the 60s and 70s, right? I mean, the, the, the pews of churches were filled. Yeah. Um, Catholicism was um, still practiced. Like not just for Christmas, Easter, and uh, uh, whatever other holiday you want to throw in there. Um, so there was there was a there was a lot of taboo in in, in very in, smart. And then you well, he wrote he wrote for his school magazine, okay, which was called Horizon at Christopher Columbus, and he wrote um, a paper, uh, an article for the for the magazine about the occult. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. This was this was in high school. Uh, it was about alchemy, which is changing yep. matter, usually into gold or something like that, changing matter from one thing to another. Uh, an interesting subject for somebody to write in a school paper, don't you think? Yeah, uh, yeah. he was also he's also a member of Menza, which is which is like oh yeah, uh, uh, you know, very intelligent very bright, people, right? And the 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 Orthodox is Eastern, okay, which means it's Byzantine, Greek Orthodox is Eastern. Uh, Ethiopian Russian Coptic, Orthodox. Egyptian Coptic, Russian Orthodox, they all fall under these categories of, of the Eastern, uh, you know, Orthodox or you could, you know, the word it says Slavonic, which is interesting because uh, I think Pratsky was Ukrainian or something, wasn't he? Yeah. So, yeah, something yeah. like that. The, the most important piece, though, is, is that the bishops that were made bishops uh, in the Eastern Orthodox faith and the, the Roman Catholic faith all all share the same lineage voting all going all the way back to saint okay. peter yeah like this was called the orthodox catholic uh catholic church in exile slavonic mm -hmm. orthodox catholic church in right. exile there's yeah. things in that book that you know fill holes that are in the bible okay if you read the old testament it'll tell you you know about noah and all that and it mentions fallen angels and it mentions the nephilim and who they, they were, were selling a lot of rare books the, the reason why this matters i think in the world of david berkowitz and the son of sam cult and and other cults around that time period is it appears that there were you know to kind of use a i guess like a new york term there were there were the street guys who were like the berkowitz types the car types and then there was the more upper echelon you know the the, the thing is, they were the ones that were really purchasing these books um, and the ones that had the money to, to fund these types of operations. It's um, all the way west on the Hudson River. Uh, um, uh, for people who have not been to New York, when you go into Manhattan, you have you, you have two rivers. You have the Hudson and you have the East River. Uh, the East River is, um, is, you know, that's like kind of like the 95 section, I guess you would say, right? To get to you know you go to FDR Drive whatever, mm -hmm. um, you know the Hudson Rivers you know you got the Head Hunt you got the West Side Highway the, the Hudson that. River the Hudson River separate for people who don't know separates New York and New Jersey okay? right so the East River separates Manhattan from, from the rest Queens. of Brooklyn right? and Queen and yeah. Long Island on the far end sure um, and and even the Bronx too at the top of of the yep. East River they call it the Harlem River right there but it's all the same thing. Right, and, and, and also it makes no sense for him to move there geographically with his job. Yeah, it, it, it's no, definitely uh, some weird connections there. Um, uh, you know, 
Yeah, that's a the processed church is the final judgment freaks me out. I'm not gonna lie. They're, they they freak me out. There's just something very sinister. Anything yeah, you gotta change their reaction. But you also have to put it in their face. Right here. Right. Okay. Yeah. And what no, we've I... what we've seen over the last four or five years in the world and in particularly in this country, uh, uh without getting too specific, we all know what we're talking about, I think is is Obviously, there's there's evil, and obviously it's in your well, face. Pelham, and, Pelham Bay Park was really the epicenter, the early the epicenter of of the Son of Sam cult. Um, it's it's all there. Yeah. Was all, he was also affiliated with that book up on in Hudson, New York, right, Chris? Right. Yes. Okay. Um, and it was, an, it was an esoteric bookstore. Yeah, there, he, there's there's an, there was a there's a rare bookshop in Hastings near near Untermeyer. That's right. Excuse me. Not there was a there was a there was a there was a bar. I believe it was called the West End Bar, where they all hung out. Um, the the old beatniks hung out there. They were uh, drained, drained of blood. blood. Totally drained of their blood. Um, that case has still gone unsolved. It's probably never going to be solved, um, due to the fact that neither New York nor New Jersey really want to investigate it because they can't agree on who should be investigating it. Guy worked in a bodega. I think he was also a super of a building nearby. The guy is like a 95 year old Hispanic man, about four foot eleven. There's no way he was gonna, you know, grab up a kid in the middle of the street like that. You know, it just was impossible. Also.